Did you see that new update Divi released? If you have been living under a rock and you haven't, in this video, I'm going to show you the new Divi sticky options, which are very impressive. Now, you've noticed on my channel, I haven't really been posting a lot of Divi stuff, and that's just because they haven't been updating their theme, but they had a new update, which I just thought was incredible. So, the new Divi sticky options allows you to virtually make any part of your website sticky. Now, there are some other options that you can do to kind of diversify, like stick to the bottom, stick to the top, and they've also had different animations and stuff so if you've noticed how we have my first off my header is sticky and now we have this section sticky now you can have pretty much any part of your website sticky and now you'll see it stops sticking as I scroll to the bottom of the website and if I scroll up it's going to stay sticky until it hits that certain area where it was created and then it's going to go back to normal now there are so many different ways on how you can customize your website so I'll just be going over a few here is another example I'll scroll down and you'll notice that we have this bottom part sticky. So this is a uh, the bottom part of the website and this is sticky. Maybe you want to have like a banner, like a sale, or you just want to tell people about your clients. And now you'll see that the section goes back into place after I kind of, you know, uh, uh, scroll past it. And if I go back up, it'll remain sticky where it's supposed to be. So uh, it just depends on what you're trying to achieve with your website. Also, you can change the color of the specific section when it is sticky which is also really really cool here's another example you guys can see i was messing around with this on all my demo websites and i'll scroll down and on this section we have this part on the top sticky now this might be something that is relevant to the content like an affiliate link like oh by now they're reading an article and you want to have those affiliate links right there just in case they um, just in case they want to buy it also if you are running a business and you're talking about your business and you want to go ahead and say, oh, this stuff's amazing. Uh, they have the option to click on whatever that you are advertising right at the top of the page, which is pretty cool. I actually have that on my website, darewilson.com. I actually have the sticky sidebar. However, we had to make a lot of code to do that because normally with page builders, you cannot do that. So uh, yeah, I mean, on my page builder, I had to use code to do that. Also, take a look at this. We have a blue section and now it's going to change colors to red so for example they come to the website and if you have a specific part of the website that you want to be sticky we can go ahead and scroll down and now you'll notice that the color the section changes color and also it's now sticky so you can have your specific section become sticky and also change color at the same time or whatever style that you are trying to achieve which again is pretty cool so let's see if i have anything else sticky here is that it is that it? yeah that, that's a, that's enough sticky stuff so um, you can also apply this to your theme builder. So if you want your, your footer to achieve a specific style or you want your header, you can apply these sections to your header using the theme builder as well and it'll still be applied to the website. So let me show you all how it works now. We're also gonna go through some of the other options and some of them, you know, it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. Some of them I think are a little, blah, you know, but that's okay, you know, everyone out there likes to get a little crazy sometimes. So number one is the header. So the biggest request with Divi is, I want a sticky header, Daniel. I want a sticky header. I'm like, all right, now you got a sticky header. So to make any part of your website sticky, what you'll do is you'll click on the section setting that you want to be sticky. You'll click on the gear icon. You'll go to the advanced tab. You'll scroll down to the bottom where it says scroll effects. Now you'll see sticky option. So you have stick to the top. Now they also have uh, sticky top offset. So what that's gonna do it's gonna show some padding. It's gonna it's gonna bring it down a few pixels as it's sticky. I'll give you an example of that just to show you. It's a little strange, but I think maybe people out there might wanna use it. Now there's some other options here, but personally I'll go through a lot of these when I talk about the other page. So uh, for the sticky top sets, you can see here how now there's there's pixels, there's there's space in between there. So I'll just go ahead and save that. I'll, I'll change this to 20, just to just so it doesn't go too crazy here, because I know Davey likes to go a little crazy. So I'll save it, you know, and now I'll go back to my demo website. All right, and now you can see that we have that padding. So that's just something that you might want to have. And now even if I scroll and it's sticky, you can see that it, it, it maintains that little padding space. So that's just a strategy that you might want to have or you might want to achieve. And again, remember just to take it off, you'll go back to the advanced tab, scroll FX, say I want zero and then go to here and save, and then go back to your website and I'll just refresh it and voila, it is all gone. So that's just an example of how you'd want a sticky 
uh, header because I know people out there like to like to I want a sticky header Daryl now let's talk about how to make other parts of your website just let's just make other parts of your website sticky so uh, a good strategy here or a more complicated um, I guess w w way of doing this is we have this one section right so we have these three columns now I can choose to make this whole column sticky or I can do each column individually so let's just give you give you an example here so I'll click on the gear icon advanced and then the same thing we have scroll effects and then I'll have stick to the top and save so now if I go ahead and scroll as I scroll it's now going to make this sticky until I go back up and it brings it back into place and it's gonna stop so now let's just say okay that's cool but maybe I want a particular part sticky so I think you guys are you guys are know I'm going here so advanced scroll effects well first disable that and now uh, we have the the green sections so I'll click on the gear icon and you'll just select the specific column here. So let's just say I want column one to be sticky. So gear icon for column one, advanced, scroll effects, and then we have stick to the top. So now if I scroll down, you'll notice that only the first column is sticky. So that is pretty cool. And then here, uh, obviously, this one's sticky. So I mean, look at this. This is we can we can have a Tetris game going on right here. You know, this is this is really really cool. So I'll first go ahead and, and disable that now. So uh, now you know that you can have each individual column sticky as well. You can also have modules sticky as well. So let me go ahead and just disable this because I don't want I don't want this to get too crazy. You know, this is my demo website. I don't want to have to remake the whole website because I'm getting crazy here. So for example, if you want a specific button sticky just the same thing guys so advanced scroll effects and stick to the top and now the button will remain sticky so that is pretty pretty unique pretty awesome there you can do but uh, the creativity is there so uh, those are just some examples of how you can have specific columns and modules so let's go to the um, the about us page now you notice here how we have the about us page and how it's sticking to the bottom so um, if you want to have that effect, this is good for something like sales banners. So for example, you might want to have a very thin sales banner or some, a very thin notice to the website, and you can use that as a sticky um, as a sticky section. So now you don't have to install a plugin for an, an announcement. Because you know before when you wanted like an announcement, you had to install a plugin and it would show up on the bottom. Now you can use this as a replacement. So you have less plugins and a faster website. So it's pretty easy to achieve this. So what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and click on the specific section and go to the advanced and go to scroll effects. Now I have it a, a stick to the bottom. And when you stick to the bottom, you need to know that when you load the page, it's going to load up on the front of the page as well. So just keep that in mind. So let me just give you an example here. So if I put do not stick and I go to the top of the page, this is what the page looks like when I load the page. Now, when I go to the bottom and I load it, or let me, let me just turn this on. Let's scroll up here. So now when I turn on the advanced section and goes to the scroll effects and I go to stick to the bottom, now you'll see how it brings it to the bottom right when I load the page. Now you can also have this to stick to the top and the bottom. That is a little crazy. So what that means is that when, uh, here at first, let's do this, let's do this. Stick to the bottom. Okay, you guys got that? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, good. Now let's do both. Let's get a little crazy here. So let's, let's get crazy. So uh, now when I go to the advanced section and go to the uh, stick to the top and bottom, it's going to load the, the bottom right here. However, when I passed it, it's then going to bring it to the top. Okay, so if I scroll down, you'll see that it's there. But now you'll see that when I go past it, it also starts to become sticky. Now you can actually offset this by pixels. So let's say for example, you want to have certain pixels um, when you're scrolling. So for example, we have the sticky bottom offset. You can actually control the amount of pixels that it's off by and also the top as well. Now, this there, there's some strategy here. I can I, I can definitely say there's some strategy here. So um, let's say for example you are you are loading the sticky and it's on the bottom, right? So you can control where you want it to start. So it's like you know I want it to start here, you know, just because I think that makes it look good. And also when they scroll past it, you can set the sticky of when of wherever you want it to be when it sticks to the top. So that's what the stick to the top and bottom means. It sticks to the bottom when you load the page. And when you pass it, it'll go to the top. And then you can go crazy and then mess around with all the settings there. Now let's talk about the colors. So we have this section and now it's changing colors, which is pretty cool. So uh, if you want to style specific sections when they become sticky, it's a very simple fix. So first you'll have to make the option sticky. So 
First, you'll go to the specific section. So for example, this teal column, row settings, advanced, you'll go to the scroll effects and you'll say, okay, I want this to stick to the top. Now, once you apply that setting, you'll go to the background. So you'll go to content and then you'll go to background. Now, when you made this sticky, you'll get this new option that'll appear right here, sticky. So this is going to say, okay, so when it starts to become sticky, what do you want to do? So you can have a video, you can have a gradient, you can change the color. So for example, I'll say purple and then I'll save that and scroll to the top and we'll keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And now it's purple, which is amazing. So the possibilities here are virtually limitless. Now a very good example that Nick Roach gave was the actual, um, the sidebar, which I thought was a very unique touch. And remains in view. So let's see, let's, let's see what Nick, Nick says. I think he got a haircut or his hair's getting too long. So he gave a very good example of the sidebar on the left side. So the sidebar on the left side, maybe when users are navigating, I don't know if you're running a blog with TV, but if they start scrolling and they're on some sort of section, then you'll see that these will change colors. Now you have to apply the section in order for that to work. So anything within that section will change colors, but when they leave the section, it'll like just go away. So for example, watch this. So we have that going being applied and then it's gone. But if they scroll back up, it's going to stay there. And then when they scroll past it again, it's going to go back to the normal colors. So that's an example of how you can use this specific example. So uh, I just want to kind of like, you know, help you guys out, think outside the box there. I don't, I don't want to just use this one example and say, that's it guys. You know, there's so many different ways on how you can customize this. Now, if you want to go ahead and purchase TV, there is a link below to purchase TV with a discount. Um, I do have a tutorial with Divi, so if you want to check that one out, I will also leave that in the description below. I think these features are amazing. I think what Elgin Themes is doing is great. Now, Nick, one thing. Give us the Etta cart. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.